Erdogan has been in power for six months. And uh, from what you are saying, how do you rate the performance of this government so far? Give it uh, a score out of five. I know there are things which they've scored, even if you, you, you are in the opposition, and you are also in governance. For me, I say we are all part of uh, government, but only that those who were elected. Uh, what is your score on this? And well, what can you advise? Uh, look, if, if, you want, if you want to rate the UPND government, you have to say to yourself, what did they promise? I mean, the best guy that we have ever had so far in this country is HH. Because he himself said things voluntarily. So nobody, nobody is misquoting him. Okay? So he's, he's, he's a very nice guy to that extent to evaluate. He said, when I win, election and I'm sworn in the same day the quacha is going to appreciate okay so let's start by giving him that score he won the election he was sworn in six months down the he found the quacha at 15 six months down the road the quacha is in the in the, in the neighborhood of 18 to a dollar or 19. So what is the score? Zero out of five. Here is a man who said, I'm going to give bursaries to all tertiary students, colleges and universities. Again, he himself went to the University of Zambia and told the students, when I come into government, I'll make sure that I give you bursaries. Okay? How do you rate him out of five? Zero out of five. He hasn't delivered. Here is a man who said to the Zambian people, there is going to be free education from primary school to the university. Again, going on this previous point that I made, zero out of five. He hasn't delivered. What he has delivered is segmented free education. So, let me finish. So, you are, uh, you know, if you, you know, you are vulnerable, you'll be given a buzzer. If you are not vulnerable, you won't be given a, 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 you won't be given a buzzer. The man can even go to the Vatican to try to lecture Pope Francis on free education. Forgetting that the Catholics have been running free schools on the principle of free education in this country for years. Okay? And they understand the definition of free education. And the man flies all the way from here to Brussels, from Brussels to Rome, and says to Pope Francis, let me tell you the free education that he have put in place in Zambia. I'm sure they must have been laughing in their, you know, in their hearts. And when he walked away, they must have said to themselves, oh my God, what has Zambia landed itself in? You know? The man is taking, you know, small definitions, you know, to, to the Vatican. Which, which, which institution in this world would match the Vatican in terms of running schools? In terms of free education? None. Not even Denmark, not even the Scandinavian countries. So again, zero out of five. Okay? Fight against corruption, zero out of five. Fuel prices, zero out of five. Where HH has scored is in the administrative arena. And I'll tell you what I mean by the administrative arena. Paying off retirees. That's not a policy issue. That's administration. That's what we call it. It's administration. You don't even have to think. You don't even have to spend sleepless nights to pay off a retiree. You don't even need to be intelligent. You don't even need to be an economist to know that XC worked for this money and they must be paid. 
Now, the question on that one, people may say, they, he has called and the government has called. It's administrative, yes. but still, you have to say there's the government. Why was it that the previous government did not utilize the administration? The, ad the administration was bad. The administration, is, you know, was bad. Because, you see, this is about uh, managing the contributions of workers and the contributions of employers. Okay? So, the administration in the past was bad. But this is not a policy issue. That's a distinction I'm creating. Okay. This is not a policy issue. Okay, it's not a policy issue yes. and it is administrative. Yes. We have an administrative question here, which uh, has been in my mind, and I wanted to hear it from you. What are your comments on the creation of four positions of permanent secretary special duties, <laughs> which is also administrative? You know, uh, that, to be honest with you, is more embarrassing than anything else. Okay? I worked myself in local government for many years. I worked I worked in the open civil service when I became minister. I remember very well, I'd already started working during the UNIPI days. I have never heard of a position of permanent secretary special duties at the, state, at the cabinet office. The first time that I'm hearing of this position. Okay? Special duties. There are no special duties to be performed at cabinet office because every position, you know, or at cabinet office has a job description. Every position at cabinet office has a job description. Okay? So, if every job has a job description at cabinet office, what is the job description of a PS in charge of special duties. What is the job description of a PS for special duties? Certainly none. So all that is happening is that uh, against against the criticism we had, uh, you know, against the PF, that the PF was running a bloated civil service. He is doing exactly the same, if not worse. By simply looking at faces of the people that he likes and offering them jobs. Even, even when those jobs are not even there to perform. There's nothing. Two days ago, or if I may extend this argument, I saw you know, his uh, uh, press assistant appearing on, on, on some TV uh, channel, making, you know, being interviewed and making policy statements. That's not the job of uh, special assistant for press. Okay? All that, if you are experienced in government, just shows you that this is confusion at, the, uh, at its most. I worked myself, I, I, I mean, I, 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 I was already in local government myself, and I saw uh, KK's press assistant, you know, Mini Mopunabantu, he was press assistant, you know, Nafi Nyalugwe was press assistant, Dr. What was the, the lady from the university, was press assistant. Their job was not to go out and issue policy statements, to be interviewed. On policy. That's the job of a minister. So there is a lot of things that are going wrong with the uh, HH. He thinks that uh, that is how government uh, is run. It is not run like that. And there is only one way, Chico, of running government. There are conventions, there are practices, there are general orders, and you must operate within uh, the framework uh, of all those uh, principles. Okay.